All right, welcome to this next video clip in the Dive Master course uh, workshop section. So what I'm going to talk about is uh, workshop number three and four that have to do with discover scuba diving. And so I come here in my instructor manual. I'm going to go to the workshops and here I go. There's the heading for it and specifically it's number three and four that I'm interested in. So number three um, is the one that is discover scuba diving in confined water. And a, a word of caution here. We often hear of some confusion that these workshops have something to do with the dive master being able to conduct a DSD program. That's not the case at all. These workshops that you do within the dive master course are to help them function as an assistant assisting an instructor conducting a, a Discover Scuba Diving program. If you want the dive master to be able to conduct a DSD experience, then you have to offer the DSD Leader program. It's a separate course. Do not integrate it into the dive master course. So workshop three, like I said, deals with confined water. So these are the performance requirements. You're gonna review the program standards in the instructor manual and explain the dive master's role as an assistant. That's really key to this whole workshop. It's as an assistant during a confined water experience. Because this only focuses on their role as an assistant, there is a separate performance requirement there that means you need to spend time with the dive master candidate talking about the DSD leader internship, and that's to promote it but also to make sure that the dive master candidate understands that they are not a DSD leader at the end of this workshop. They're merely an assistant in that confined water session. You also want to spend some time showing them what are some good uh, positioning hints and tips for when, running, uh, when working as an assistant for a DSD program and how to recognize and correct problems during the experience. So when we come into the conduct section here in the non-black bold, there's conduct here. Um, you have some information there um, that will um, tell you how to conduct this session. And then, of course, your second best friend, the guide to teaching. When I come here to where it talks about the workshops, Dive Master conducted workshops, workshop three, um, essentially covers what I'm talking about here, how to conduct workshop number three, discover scuba diving program in confined water, we're talking as an assistant. Um, so you've got your black bolt performance requirements, what the dive master candidate should be able to do. Here's some suggestions on how you do it. So you review the Discover Scuba Diving standards and you do that using the instructor manual. So you would go to uh, Discover Scuba Diving here, open that up and review the various standards. Again, focusing on what they need to know as an assistant to this program. And then after you do that, you then have a, um, a, a warning for your dive master candidates. And that's when you're going to go through the DSD leader internship requirements and discuss how they could qualify as one after the dive master course. Black Bolt, only certified Paddy dive masters qualify to take part in the DSD internship training. So do not involve your dive master candidates in this. Again, spending some time letting you know it's not a good thing to do. And then to finish off that workshop, you're going to conduct a role model confined water session. And this is really where you want to get some other divers, certified divers or other dive master candidates if you have several, and you want to go in the, in the pool and conduct a DSD experience in confined water, focusing on what they're doing as assistants in this program. And so you can have them uh, think about their position and their, their supervision in there and any problem solving as necessary. Um, so a nice way to set this up is to conduct a dry workshop first. So I would simply run it here in the classroom. I would make two, three people stand up and then I would demonstrate how I could control the group uh, by uh, positioning myself in front of them. I'm showing how I'm swimming on my back, sculling away from them. As the assistant, I'm showing how that assistant is really close all the time, being able to grab anyone at any point. I might highlight how myself and the assistant could use a reef wall. So basically the wall of the room 
and that's where we put the candidates up against, and then we're swimming using that as a, as, a, as a way to stop them from swimming off in different places. But again, you're focusing this on what the assistant is doing, what's their position, how are they swimming, what, where are they in relation to the candidates and to your instructor. Okay. The fourth workshop then deals with Discover Scuba Diving Program, the additional open water dive. And again, the key word here is additional because you as an instructor, you're the only one that can conduct the initial open water dive. But after a DSD participant has done that, they could theoretically go off and do a subsequent open water dive with a dive master. And so you're gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna go back into the DSD uh, instructor guide, which we saw um, here, and you would review the uh, standards for that. Um, and then you would let them uh, practice their briefings. You got your dive master slates to help with that for that additional open water dive. And again, you're gonna um, have them demonstrate proper control and required supervision. So when you look at the conduct here, both in the instructor manual and going into the guide to teaching for workshop four, that additional dive, it gives you those kind of enhanced notes in there. And when you set this workshop up, you're going to go in the water with them and you're gonna have other certified divers or other dive master candidates play the role. And again, you're now letting them try to find the best place to supervise the DST participants and so on. This is another one that I would spend some time in the classroom or on the beach before the dive, wherever, and do a dry workshop. So again, I can really emphasize to my dive master candidate that if they're doing this, they're staying within grabbing distance of the participants, they're swimming on their back, they're using the topography of the dive site to control the group, or maybe even the fact that if I'm doing this additional open water dive in the DSD program, is I may not swim around much at all. I simply find a nice rock, coral, balmy, whatever you want to, to call it, or a bicycle if you're in a quarry, and then have people sit down next to it and, and look at the object there. That minimizes risk because we're not moving around. So those are nice things to add to a, a, a good workshop to learn and to prepare them to do this. But again, final word, do not mix any of this with the DSD leader program. That's a separate thing. Um, and we will talk about that in this series, but not as part of this workshop. Any questions? Give us a call. Thank you.